Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In Nashville, Tennessee, started off in uh, Central Florida, and we are, we made it to uh, Nashville, and we're headed to Colorado, ultimately. Today we are, um, we're shooting for uh, Junction, uh, Junction City, is that it? Junction City, Kansas is our goal for today. And we're headed to Colorado to uh, pick something up. We're using our truck for truck stuff. And um, stay tuned, and, and we'll uh, we'll have a couple of these little updates. Let you guys see what we're getting. Um, this is kind of for our other channel, Yoa Ranch. If you want to check that out, it's Y O W A R A N C H. Uh, but uh, we are doing uh, truck things in a Gladiator, and I'll give you a quick hint. We're going to pick up a cow in the truck. So yeah, wait for this. We're going to take it all the way back to uh, to Florida. So, you know, two thirds across away, two thirds of the way across the country and back in, uh, in about four or five days, um, 4,000 miles in a gladiator. So uh, stay tuned for that. I'll give you one final shot of me running in the back, just about in Nashville. And uh, stay tuned guys, we'll be back. We are just outside of Denver, Colorado. We're in Georgetown, and we seen a whole herd of bighorn sheep on the side of the, on the side of the mountain. Just just half, not even a half a mile away, a quarter mile away. Around and come see the goats, because you don't see this very often where we're from. This is look, we are in a an area right on the side of the road and here is there's all these goat uh, goat things like saying like you know goat crossing or whatever beware of goats walk up here sorry they're in some sort of uh, they're in some sort of match And that's it. My uh, my signal's not very good, so we're gonna get back in the truck. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna. I don't know. I just heard a boom. What was that? Oh wow! They just rammed each other. Hold on. I was gonna. It's gonna go. There was a big boom. I don't know if you heard it, but they rammed each other. All right, guys. Thanks for checking us out. We're gonna get back in the truck and go on. It's getting dark. We just wanted to see the Longhorns. You don't see that in Florida, so thanks for watching. Up there on that mountain, basically. Um, really, really cool. I got to throw my first snowball in 30 years at her, but she ran in the Jeep before I had a chance to peg her with it. It's beautiful here. Absolutely beautiful. Just amazing. Look at this. It's like 45 degrees out. Freezing. To say the least uh, but it's it's just super beautiful guys super beautiful just keep watching keep watching we'll do some more stuff um, coming back through in the morning or in the afternoon probably with with our baby um, so stay tuned for that and we're gonna see you guys soon uh, Um, that's Baba, and he's an angel, and I love him, and I'm already trying to scheme how to buy him back at the fair and let him be a pet steer forever. Oh. So what did you name God. her again? Pearl. 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 She's a chunk. She's a beauty, mommy. Daddy. Okay. She's like, oh, oh. Okay. 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 We're going to love you so much. Okay. Come here. Hey. Want to again? So I'm just gonna do my normal thing with her mm -hmm. because that's gonna be her life. <laughs> um, you know sister.
So this is totally normal for new people coming in there, right? Right. Um, I'm sorry, it's Carrie. That's funny, my nephew or on our other call. I'm like, why don't you go out there and see Coco every day? And he's like, her eats me. You know how they mouth you? Yeah. <laughs> And well, Coco was, you know, we got her and she was being bottle fed, which we swore we were never going to do. Yeah. Um, so I think it makes her less, um, she's kind of imprinted. Less reactive, yeah. 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 And that's like the good thing about bottle babies, but I, I also see a lot of negatives in bottle babies. Yeah, so we, we um, did too, it's a little red. And it's you're okay. You're beautiful, old. honey. Because, yeah, you know, I could have sold her as a bottle cap six months ago. Right. Um, but in my my brain, that's not what was best for her as far as development. Um, it's okay when you're injected. But. Okay. So, so one of you, learning. one of you come in here, Sorry. and she's gonna pull back again. So we're gonna have you come in from behind, not to her face. And honestly, if you, when you get her home, I want you to keep her up in a small space because mm -hmm. I want you to bond with her and continue her routine that I have here. Yeah, we have a which, little shop for Which is, they get their grain every day, twice a day, morning and evening, and then they get their third feeding when I'm out here handling them and blowing them out and stuff like that. What do you recommend with introducing her to the one we have? Just put them together. Should be fine? Yeah, so bring your, have your other little heifer in a stall when you get home mm -hmm. or lead her out to the vehicle. It's because okay. when she gets off the truck, she's going to be like, oh, well, one, holy shit, where am I? Right. And when she sees another shit, cow, she's going to be like, oh my god, I need to get near that cow because that's going to become her comfort zone. Right. And having Asha go behind her head, Christy, behind. So cow body language, if you're behind their shoulder, they'll go forward. If you're in front of them, they're going to go back. Okay. Um, so if you stay behind her shoulder, she's going to be a lot more comfortable to start with. So it's kind of like you and I meeting and shaking hands or just going straight to the right, face. Right to face. Um, going straight to their face, patting some. So just stay in her face. There you go. Mm -hmm. She's so jumpy. She is fit. She is healthy. Her hair is phenomenal. Yeah, it is. And she is built like a brick house. Like she's a really beautiful she doesn't work out, so. Yeah, we've been trying. We've been we, I just finally stopped bottle feeding the other one um, about a week ago today, and we just and I was weaning her off of it, and which was hard because it hurts your heart a little. It bit. did, you know. <laughs> I've had kids and far <laughs> but um, we've been chunking her, trying to chunk her up, feeding her more. But um, she she has chunked up more off the bottles, um, but it takes time to do that. that. She is thick. Body depth on a cow. Um, yes. Give her like two to three months on grain and it'll make a big difference. So you'll want to start her at 1% of her body weight and okay. build her up to 3% of her body weight. So Don't just start jamming grain down her because she'll, you can actually cause bloat, which is why I want you to stop and pick that bloat block up on your way out of town. Okay. Um, because the grain changes the pH of her gut, which is what causes them to bloat. Okay. Um, so you gotta be very careful when you have any cow on um, grain. So like our steers always have access to a bloat block because we are jamming like 20 pounds of grain down them right now. Um, so, super important, don't ever let these... So the rest of the time you've just been feeding her, just, I mean, other than grain. Yeah, so they always have access to free protein and protein powder and a salt block like they sent home with you. Mm -hmm. And then they've got their blood block, so there's one in each stall, um, so that they, they will, um, they manage themselves, they don't just sit there and like go to town on the book on the um, protein tub they only consume what they need they know what they need mm -hmm. so right. and they'll choose to eat it or choose not to um they're smart like that unlike a horse who would be like oh i'm gonna eat this whole bag of grain and kill myself mm -hmm. today so <laughs> um so what we're doing right here today is what you need to do when you get her home and i would keep her up for a couple days until you feel like she's comfortable in your space mm -hmm. but you're at an advantage because you had the other heifer who was bottle raised she has no safety boundaries that's concerned. She's going to feed right off of that. Awesome. So. Someone else is with it. Yeah. All right, little baby. Coming.
coming through. Don't freak out. Oh, you bit it on that whole thing. I was. Oh, gosh. Oh, you're so soft. Oh, my goodness. You're so pretty. Oh, you're maybe so she likes Jeff better. Okay. Maybe. Okay. I mean, he has his way with girls. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm like, um, what was the movie? Uh, Heaven Almighty or whatever, all the animals come to him and make the ark. It's, it's unbelievable. I, I don't know. I, th- I always I say, this, even the stuff. I don't even want it, and I have it. Like, I've gone up to a, a giant German shepherd that had his broke through a window, and I was paw bleeding, and in heat, trying to get to my friend's uh, female, and I'm the one that could patch this stuff all, clean right. it up, and bang. like, it's just weird. I don't know where it is. If an animal doesn't like me, they're a bitch. <laughs> so. Area. Um, and so we actually feed at night only, not in the day. If you see cows at night, they will generally have daytime calving. Um, it's probably when it truly works. Yeah. We only had maybe two calves outside of our, you know, at nighttime last right. year. Um, even though we have camera systems and calving devices, we still feed them at night. We take them off food during the day. Um, we're basically present for every single calving. And so once we cycle in cows to calve, they, they have to stay in here until they have their baby. How old um, is that little white one there? The little bitty. She used to doodle me like a month ago. <laughs> Um, so she's about the same age as your little girl, actually. Oh my gosh, she's uh, my crew. Huh? <laughs> she's a stinker, though. Is she? she has hated me from day oh. one of weaning. Oh. Um, and she still thinks I'm going to eat her. Um, <laughs> she's really working hard. So. That's how our ducks are. They won't come near us. They, oh, they know they're feeding ducks. Do. They know they taste good. And they oh, think. Maybe. So oh. this is a non condra silver bowl. His mama. You're okay, Bobby. He's like, yeah. Um, he's a, he's a sweet angel baby. He's out of uh, winter and a silver bowl. He's a silver bowl. He's from the Washington. They were supposed to be here today or tomorrow, and they just found her too. So, um, so you went to school for all this, right? Is that what I read on your? Well, I went to school and got my degree as a certified veterinary technician. Um, so before this, I actually been training and managing horses my entire life. And then I decided to go to school and get an education. And then I went back to training horses anyway. And my husband um, got me into cattle. So, um, so you can kind of blondies with this poop on you. What's up? You can see some body differences in here. So like this little heifer just got weaned. So she's um, she's going through that stage where she does her body condition is not great. But she'll start gaining um, once we start doing grinding milling and everything. The little else. red one. Yeah, um, this little heifer is one I just bought, and she tried to die. She looks oh. like hell on wheels. Um, her name's Starla, and we bought ten oh. heifers actually, and we were we went and picked them up, and um, it's just sadness, but anyway, they're in the right place. Um, oh. Awesome. Little, so you adopted them. I always feel like I'm a little parent. Little yeah. Little the white bull in the background, he is a bull that we've retained this year. He's a non chondro bull, and he's out of my Silver Highland bull. And um, one walking on the path. Yeah. He's beautiful. And my little one of my cows, Chloe, that's home raised heifer, and we've kept him back for our chondro female buyers. You couldn't use him because he's out of the same sire, but I kept another one that is down the road who decided to breed. Um, oh, he's in. He's Yes, we will be we will be mail ordering some stuff. I'll show you him because he's not related to your heifer. Okay. Um, and then if you know who Caesar is, the bull out of Panarosa, this is a Caesar bull calf here that we're out of. Panarosa has some awesome ones, but yeah, they're and they're doing all um, all online. Yeah, that's the only way they do it. Yeah. Um, and I then guess. this little shorty silver heifer, she's gone to Virginia. No. <laughs> So which ones are her parents? Where are her parents at? Uh, the bull's not here. He's in, at our ranch in Carbondale. But we can go out and see Mama. She's on the pasture over here. Yeah, I just... Yeah, it's so nice. Well, so we, nice. It's so beautiful. Well, they work for me. Yeah, I know. It's just so nice. <laughs> well, the one ranch in Carbondale, it's a 400-acre lease. We don't own that ranch. We own our home in Carbondale still because we rented it out. There's no point selling it. Right. Um, but it's only 50 acres. So... Is it cool? it's but if so you want to see Ingrid, her mama, we can certainly drive. Come out here. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Plus, we haven't seen anything the whole way here. We're like, look, we stopped. We stopped and saw some, uh, some of them sheep on the side of the road. We definitely, definitely saw that elk farm. Yeah, we saw that elk farm down the road. I'm like, hmm. From these guys? Yeah. Uh -huh. They're really nice people. So this is the little bull calf, and he's out of Shar, who is a 75% Highland, 25% White Park, and then Shaw's out of our Calpandy and our bull Bullet. So we've kept him back as he's non condro he's tiny at birth, um, and he's still tiny. Um, Will he let me approach him? No, I just finished weaning him like a week ago, so okay. he's just now coming into my program to get grained and groomed and yada yada. He's gentle. Um, right. Here's my team. I know this thing is here. So, that's little Spider Man. He has a leg deformity. And um, we never had put him up for sale. He's just going to stay here until quality of life is an issue. Mm -hmm. Right. And he's just going to be a pet. And he will let you pet him if you want. Oh, awesome. Hey, Bubba. Oh, you're so precious to him. Hi, Lily. What's wrong with his leg? Um, on his knee, his carpus, the the socket isn't correct. So when he gets tired, like he'll be normal. When he gets tired, he does this, mm. and he just is like this. Um, and there's nothing I, I can't fix him. So, and I certainly wouldn't sell him. Um, I mean, somebody wanted a pet, knowing yeah. what they were getting themselves into. I'm good yeah. with that. So like right now he looks completely normal, right? Mm -hmm. But when he gets tired, he literally just does this. Yeah. Um, he's super cute, buddy. So he's just gonna be a big baby. He's super cute. He's just baby. Oh, I got a Are you gonna eat her? I'm like, yeah. you eat your dog? Right. First, we can't. You can't afford the meat. Second, <laughs> like slightly, slightly too expensive. There you go. Ooh. Well, we'll be talking to her as much as we can on the way when we stop to feed. Oh, Jeff, I'm kind of annoyed at you two right now. Can you go touch that other heifer for me? Probably. That gets me. <laughs> we were just talking like we wish we didn't have to have regular jobs, but, you know, is what it is. We're, it allows us to. We're hoping a little small, now. small portion of this would be our retirement, you know, yep. just to just to have a little handful of something. Yeah, and your hair is so thick. I know, it's cool. Make sure to take care of that hair. Yeah. <laughs> my my uh, stylist over here. Well, like the, when you groom cattle, you should actually groom against the grain. Because that's what, it's working the hide that keeps the hair healthy, right? Not just brushing the hair out, it's working the hide. Yeah, um, Coco lets us wash her and um, I blow dry her and brush her all up. And she's... She's, she's okay like, with it. I'm going to eat you. She's like, <laughs> she's about the same size as Coco is right now. Yeah, she's a little girthier. Oh, I mean tall. She's definitely thicker in the in the belly. Yeah, that's because of that bottle thing. And you're better at this than us. I don't know. I well, and I think La Petite, who we got them from, you know, they have a small program but it's not like a program like yours they they have cows and they do a lot of farming mm -hmm. um, I mean so. we feel like we got pretty lucky with her because she seems really healthy she and really she's good. She, she looks good structurally looks really good but um, well we can tell I think La Petite does a nice job, so don't, don't think you didn't buy something bad. They I look at a lot of flippin' cows, so, I tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> when you get online, they're everywhere, and, like, only other person I that I thought that I could trust was um, Goofy Bayless. Yeah, he's phenomenal. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I could and rant we, and rave all day we, about animals. When we start breeding, we're, you know, we're, our plan is to do it the most... Responsibly. Well, responsibly and, and what's good for them. Like yep. hurrying her up so she can 
pump out another one at the one year mark is ridiculous to me. It is. Well, we don't grade out females until they're two year olds. Yeah, we let them finish long before they're expected to learn, you know, gestationally develop and have, but let alone finish long before they're expected to learn. Um, so I'm loving this commercial industry. I don't have to have a cap on the gun like four months of age to sell. It's working for you though, because you've, you've had a lot this year, right? I have 98 babies. Oh my oh, god. So, and Ninety-eight. Six to go. I'm watching this not on, on your show. So we'll jump in this. Are they all mini? Um, oh, you're great. Um, they're all out of my program, so I'm not all out of my program. Yeah, um, we'll find a place for it. Yeah, jump in and we'll go look at Ingram. left to calve this year so there's only like six cows in there due to calve. Um so this is in my baby oh, pen. Look at that little one. And, and my hay. This is a cute little and my heavy bread pen. Y'all got some spring sweeper brushes too. Oh they love them. Well they would always take out the sprinklers in the fields oh, and ruin them. Here. So my husband finally he's um they love the cow scratchers. Yeah well, we're having trouble getting ours to use it but Start to. Well, this heifer will show her. Her will show her. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. They mold the. Okay. Thank you. Otherwise, she'd be dead. So, and that just happens. From she got yeah. foot rot. We treated it aggressively, but it still got into the joint, and then it caused just a massive abscess. So, I mean, how do they get that? I mean, besides they, standing in water, but don't look like you have that problem. Not even from that. I had a cow in the barn for two weeks that calved, and the weather was so bad I wasn't prepared to turn them out. Oh, yeah. She got foot rot standing in a completely really? clean, dry stall. So, um, Josephina, you're not supposed to be out with the mama cows. So, um, I'm going to put her in the machine because she's a threat to the mom's baby. Right? Come on, baby. Come on. Go, John. Yeah, she, she ran through the gate. She wasn't giving me much choice. Okay. They're so cute. Hi, babies. So we can walk through them. So this is the mother to the little bull calf that I showed you, the orange one that we're mm. keeping, the yellow one. 
for the chondro heifer semen. And she was born on my ranch three years ago. That's Char's baby. I mean, that's Char, that's Pandora's baby. She's a cool Hi. little heifer. Yeah, some beautiful eyes. It's just like her daddy. He's got really unique eyes. Oh my god. Hey, people. I don't have no pain. She's just a good looking horse. Yeah. And then. Can it be hateful? Hi. That's Giselle. And then that's Gertie, her sister. They're low lines. Mm. Um, so low lines are the original Angus, Angus. breed. Yeah, that's a lot in Florida. And they're little, mm. they're naturally small frame, short legged, mm. stout, tons of body depth. Mm. I love a good low line. They don't have any hair, but they have that natural, small, beautiful structure. Yeah. So I'm a fan of the low lines. Yeah, yeah. This is Addie. She's a registered British white, small frame British white. She's a cool little cow. And that's her baby laying down in front of us. This is a really cute heifer. Oh, so another thing you should know. When a cow gets up, they always get up and stretch. Fully. See how she got up and did this? If they don't stretch, something's wrong. Still stretching. like ingrained in their DNA to stretch. Uh, what? What are the little ones on the other side of the pits? Oh, they can come through either gate. Um, there, there's water over there, so they went over for water. So that little black heifer, she belongs to Ruby, the red runaway machine right now. Look at that little baby. Oh my goodness. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. Um, so that's out of the low line. That's Jordan's baby. Little heifer back, oh, that's the other one on the other side of the fence, the little Don. Yes. So. Yeah, I know. I only know him from, from the Look website, so. Butt, so. <laughs> and he is, he's a tiny little sucker, and that's because not only, well, he carries the chondro gene, but the low line aspect. So he's non chondro parent, which is dirty, super small. Our 25% is just the way. Um, that's actually all, all of that is. We're, we're, we're looking at it. This is just our, our baby pen. Oh, there's my grand champion show heifer. She's about 300 pounds lighter though. She just showed us there. <laughs> Sassy. Did you lose weight for the summer? She's like, well, I have to get pregnant. She's pretty. So it's fair. Don't be sassy. Girl. Um. <laughs> Like these are all people I don't know. She says my show days are over. Don't touch me. I can't remember what she weighed at fair. I think it was like eleven thirty-five or something. So, so we showed her, and then I brought her back at the dance fair because she was cool. What? Well, that's oh, what that's four H yeah, does. I know, but it's hard. That's uh, hard. Yeah, I know. That's I why she's in my sheep. pasture. I see the sheep. I cry my eyes out. <laughs> so I bought the heifer for five thousand initially. I got her ready for fair, which cost me like five grand, and then I bought her back for seven thousand dollars. <laughs> My like best friend has got he's he's working on his herd and I think he's up to like twenty something right now, but they've got like a hundred acres and yeah. he's he's like doing it for food and his wife's going around naming them. He's like, Will you quit naming them? Because you're making it's gonna make it hard when I have to sell yeah. these things. Well but didn't he say he was buying a low line um Highland um herd for some money? Oh, I think his cousin is doing it. He's going to keep him on the property. So she's a little Charlay for us. So we have four cows. I love short horns because they're grown. Um, so we have four breeding age females now to produce our own calves for our own 4-H group in town. So we don't, we don't have to buy them anymore. This will be the last group of animals I buy for 4-H. We'll start producing our own. And so she's in my 4-H program. Everybody's on camera. Whoa. -oh. You made a noise, Jeff. Stampede at the side by side. That's cool. Hi. 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 You're on camera. Everybody's on camera. <laughs> 
so I, I doubled my hood in my two years. Because my husband, he always was trying to rent the And finally I was like, um, this is a hood, like no money. We have 300 of them. And we die every year trying to have them out and like stay married. Um, that's what you do. So that's what why I bought her because I do. And she is like, if I just sell all my cows at 40, like she's the one that will never leave my ranch. She's my baby. So it's a lot better money in the than yeah. <laughs> your, obviously. Your profit margin on a commercial calf is honestly about $400. Uh, and a lot of work. Mm -hmm. How many do you think you sell that can have a cat for pets? Mm. Probably at least 25%. Mm. Definitely just for pets, where there are steers or just shorty heifers that they never are going to breed or no longer get heifers. Mm. Um, the, the market is steers, like I sell my steers, get them into a good home. I will sell them for 20, 1500 bucks, 2500 bucks. Like they're a long legger, they have no purpose, you know, you know what I mean, like in the real world. Um, and I just want them to have a good, beautiful life. Um, I mean, ours are going to be pets, but we're going to eventually breed them, but we'll ne I'm sure we'll never get rid of our yeah. original. This, this never gets old, right? This landscape. I mean, this is just... Oh. Get to uh, all the way where we we're going in um, Colorado, and um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. We are in the middle of God's country right here. You can see behind me these mountains. Just absolutely incredible. Incredible. It's like being in the Wild West. I'm, I'm looking around thinking I've seen so many Western movies or something uh, with this made. We have some other video that we, we will be posting. Um, a lot of this you could also see, um, probably the majority of it you'll see on... Um, our other channel which is uh, Yoa Ranch that's Y-O-W-A-R-N-C-H so please check that out and subscribe to that but we're going to have some on here too because we are using the Gladiator to do Jeep stuff or truck stuff rather so I'm going to turn you guys around right now and uh, I'll let you see we, we've got our baby in the back right now um, she's back there she is just totally adorable and she's totally scared because she has never driven in the back of a truck before and she doesn't know us but she is quite cute and that is Pearl and uh, we are just in the middle of absolute beautiful so please check out our other videos uh, on this channel and again on the Yoa Ranch channel and subscribe to us also and look for us on YouTube on um, Evolving Mail and the Yoa Ranch on, on uh, YouTube or Facebook rather on Facebook because uh, Facebook Yoa Ranch has a lot of a lot of stuff. Um, I'm just going to zoom in here, let you see some of these beautiful mountains. We're about an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes west of Denver, um, and it's just beautiful country. Beautiful country. It was nine degrees when we woke up this morning, and um, quite cold. And then we had to get ready. We were packed to the gills in the truck, but um, we're on our way home now. We'll try to give you some more updates as we travel. So please keep checking us out. Check out our videos. Really appreciate it, guys. And as always, peace out. Hey, guys. So if you guys have been watching, we've been on travel here over the uh, Thanksgiving holiday, pre-holiday. Uh, drove out to uh, Tennessee. Or Tennessee. Yeah, we came to Tennessee, visited some friends for a night. And then we drove out to, I um, um, can't even talk, to Colorado. Oh, it's cold outside. Drove out to Colorado. Um, took two days to drive out there. Picked up a baby uh, Highland cow and drove straight back. And we did it with her in the back of this Go Rhino um, bed rack. Hey, little baby. Hi. Call your new mama. I'm your new mommy. I'll be nice to you, I promise. I'm gonna be so nice. Uh, as you can see right there, go Rhino. Um, I have a top cage piece that I can fold up. I can flip around, open the tailgate up, flips it, shut the tailgate. I also have another piece at the front. It's a hard uh, cattle panel thing or whatever. So I uh, had some hay in the back, had it covered with a tarp. And that's how we did that. Then we got here to our friend's house in Tennessee. She got a big backyard, so we let her out. One bar, sure. Where is it? Which 
three. Pearl baby. Hi Pearl. Hi Pearl. Hey. Well, she's not like her other cow, Coco, who is like a little puppy, follows us around. Pearl, the new cow, is a semi-wild beast. Hasn't had a lot of hands-on, one-on-one -on -one time, so uh, we couldn't get near her. Kept thinking about how we're going to get her back up in a truck, start looking in the paper, found an old trailer, a uh, horse trailer, double horse trailer. So we couldn't find any in Florida, none, zero. The only one you can find is twenty-five dollars to $30,000 for the same stupid thing, uh, but newer. So we bought this one. Needs a little work. I will be showcasing how I learn how to fix this. Um, just, it's just, uh, it's just old, right? So just because it's old don't mean it's bad. So uh, anyway, we're going to be fixing this thing up, and uh, we so we we brought it back to the house. So then, so then, this day after we get here, she starts coughing. So we go to the store. We call the we call the person we bought it from. She says, give her a shot. Of, you know, check her fever if it's over 102.5. Give her a shot of this antibiotic. Just gave myself a shot. I'm scared to kneel down here all the way. Yeah. It's okay, baby. I'm trying to help you. Pull her tighter. Just firm. Oh man, fuck, she don't like this shot. God dang it. I know. You just have to jam it in there, child. Sorry. those things up their head. Okay. Yep. Door. Good job, babe. Yeah. So, check her fever. It's 103. It's not much over, but it's it's more. Her nose is running. She got a cough. Give her a shot. Wake up the next day, still got a cough. It's Thanksgiving, so we can't do anything. So we woke up yesterday, Friday, Black Friday, and um, still got a little cough. Hadn't taken our temperature yet, but we are close to the University of Tennessee Agricultural uh, Department, the vet department. So we we ran her up there. They did some tests on her, and um, she's got, they think, pneumonia. Um, pretty much pneumonia. Uh, which is not uncommon for uh, transporting a, a cow. You know, they get stressed. So we decided to leave it there overnight so they can monitor her. And we're getting ready to go pick her up. And we're going to ride with her in the back, uh, the trailer, back to Florida, where she's going to meet her new sister and her new friends on the farm. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be part of this video. Probably, I don't know, piecing stuff together. My days have ran together. I don't know what's going on. 24 hours of driving straight. It's been hard. So, anyway, it's coming. Hey guys, welcome back. We are on our way home. We managed to get back from Colorado, back to Tennessee where we were going. We picked up a trailer because we found one cheap. And we got our baby in here right now. We'll take you in here and have a look at her. She's in there. It's Pearl. Hey, Pearl. Hi, Pearl. She's in there eating, being a good girl. We had a little bit of troubles on the way back, and she got a cold, was coughing, and uh, excuse me, I'm eating a Bucky's uh, pulled pork sandwich and a bourbon. Um, she had, uh, turns out she had pneumonia. We were lucky enough to be half an hour away, half an hour away from the University of Tennessee uh, veterinary um, teaching hospital thing. Super nice facility. Super nice facility. Not one. Cut on. 
She don't like doorways. Pearl. Oh. Hi, honey. Hey, Pearl, baby. Hi, Pearly. Come on, Pearl. Come on, baby. Come on. Y'all haven't been loving on her any, have you? No, oh, she's like, get out, get away. Y'all didn't realize she had warrants because they were covered by her snow. We learned that just now. Hi, baby. Yeah, look at you. That's a good girl. Have a good rest of your trip. How many hours y'all have left? Uh, about 10 or 11. Hey, baby. better than she was it's still a little bit elevated compared to what we typically see but i'm not surprised she's stressed she's in a new place so for sure yeah she definitely is looking better she's been bright she's been nibbling she's been drinking so Love all it. good signs that we're hopeful that you know we'll get her to florida Hi, and then hopefully she'll be able to relax and yeah Scotland. we'll probably get a vet visit there too yeah that's perfect i'm glad i had steel toe boots on just now yeah, she's sitting um, on it. What about, what about payment? We need to drive around to the office? Uh, yes, just to the front desk and then we can take care of Dang it, I thought it was free. Y'all have a good one. All right, we yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, let us know if you need anything. All right. All right. grab the bag of cheese. Think she needs more? She's eating. Should we give her more? You give her some. Let me go into the office around there. Okay. Wait, look, he's gonna lock the, shut those doors. <laughs> uh, she spent the night there. They treated her. They watched her. And it cost us like $330, which is super cheap because I couldn't have taken myself with insurance to the doctor and stayed overnight for that much money or even got what I, you know, a shot. Like she got, uh, not penicillin, but a, uh, um, what do you call it? I give it for pneumonia, um, antibiotic, sorry. Um, they gave her that. They did a friggin' like CT scan on her. All the shit for like 330, so it was pretty good. Um, can't take a dog to a clinic for that so it was a pretty good deal and it helped her out and um yeah we're on our way home now she's starting to feel some of this warm weather it's 70 degrees so it's pretty warm for her um and uh yeah we'll be home soon stay tuned for the video i'm going to post this video probably on both channels here on evolving mail and also on our other channel yoa ranch so please check that out uh yoa ranch y-o-w-a-r-a-n-c-h and check us both out on both channels on facebook um because we have that and also Instagram. So check it out. Stay tuned to see some stuff doing doing redneck stuff with my truck because it's a truck and not just a regular Jeep. Okay, guys. So it's the next morning. I'm up stirring about with very little sleep. Uh, life of the rancher. I'm about to go and check on the girls. Just had to get some feed out of here. Um, my birds are going crazy. Some of them were left out last night. Hey everybody. Come on everybody. 
everybody. Come on, so let's go see our girls. There's the girls. Hi, babies. Hi, babies. Hi, baby girl. How are you girls? Hi, Coco Bean. So, we were advised by the person we bought, um, Whitey here, Pearl, to keep her in here for a few days and let her acclimate. I think they're getting along pretty good. Trying to decide whether to let Pearl out or not. Guess we'll see. Wish me luck. Are you mooing? Uh. Hi, baby. Hi, Coco Bear. He's a pretty 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 Coco Bear. Can I eat me? Did you miss me? What do you think, Pearls? It's all new, Pearls. It's all new pearls. It's all new pearls. Coco, you have to eat me, baby. Look at them two heifers right there. What are you doing, heifers? What you doing, heifers? You girls sleeping? You guys want a treat? I got treats. You want a treat? You want a treat, baby? You want a treat? Yeah, I thought you would. You want another one? You want another treat? Still chewing. Girls out here liking the weather. Good girl. You want other treats? Good girls. Okay, enjoy. Enjoy your sunbathing.